pleasant morning dear friends i do welcome to the online classes of st thomas school by this time i believe that you are in tune with the online classes now we are in the second class of our grammar and we are today going to discuss about the second chapter of our textbook that is sentence analysis as you know a sentence is a group of words which makes a complete sense or which gives a complete meaning and these sentences can be divided into two subject and predicate and what do you mean by subject subject is a word or it can be a phrase which tells us who or what is being talked or who or what does an action for example pretty things or children play there who plays who does the action of play the children do do play so children is the subject or pretty things there pretty is the one who sings so pretty is the subject now what do you mean by predicate predicate is a second part of the sentence that tells something about the subject and this can be a verb or an object and it is uh, to uh, to complete the meaning of the sentence for example look at the first sentence preeti sings there preeti is a subject and what is the predicate there the predicate is sings that is what is told about preeti preeti sings and now when we come into the sentence analysis the thing is that we are going to study more about subject and predicate and this subject part can contain a word or many words for example look at the first example itself preeti sings their subject is only one word that is preeti but look at the fourth example the price of this shirt is 500 rupees there what is the subject the subject is the price of this shirt and that carries five words and all those five words have been called as a subject so a subject can be a word or a group of words and predicate to the same way it can contain a word or a group of words and remember if predicate contains only one word that should be a verb let us see in the um, coming pages about uh, these things now the example is the fourth sentence look at there the price of this shirt is 500 rupees is 500 rupees is the predicate that is what is told about the price of the shirt so is 500 rupees carries four words so all those four words are together consist a predicate now we shall discuss about the subject word and attributes first of all what, let us see what do you mean by a subject word subject word is the most important word in the subject you may be confused i'm simplifying it suppose if there are two or more words in a sentence as a subject the most important word in that subject can be called as the subject word for example the five brothers lived together in the jungle their brothers is the most important word so brothers is a subject word but the full subject is the five brothers and in the second sentence only we have one word that is a gerund walking and walking has come as a subject and next sentence to laugh loudly is often rude 
there to laugh loudly is the subject there to laugh is the uh, subject word now you need to understand that subject word should always be a noun or a group of words that does the work of a noun for example walking is a gerund to laugh is a infinitive and look at that sentences how that has doing that that is doing the work of a subject a noun in order to be a subject in that sentence now what do you mean by subject word attribute now in the sentence these subject words i think you might have understood what i mean by the subject word the most important word in this a uh, sentence and that subject word will be qualified by the adjective or some other words that do the work of an adjective and it can be a participle or a participle adjective an infinitive a pronoun an article or a phrase now look at the sentences given in the example the first sentence the man stood at the door there what is the subject the man is the complete subject what is the subject word the most important word of that sentence is man so man is a subject word and what is the the is being used as an attribute and it is a definite article and now look at the next second sentence mahatma gandhi the father of the nation was assassinated dear friends what is a complete subject there mahatma gandhi the father of the nation and what is a subject word mahatma gandhi then what is the father of the nation that is an attribute and what is the attribute it is a noun phrase and now look at the fourth example his book is really good and what is the complete subject his book is the complete subject and what is the subject word the most important word in the sentence friends the most important word in that sentence is book so his is a possessive adjective and look at the last, last sentence fresh butter tastes wonderful and what is the subject fresh butter there subject word is butter and fresh is being used as an adjective now let us see one of the examples from your exercise what is given in that exercise in the following sentences underline the complete subject and then separate the subject word from its attributes so what you need to do in that exercise is just to underline the complete subject then you need to separate the subject word that is enough so in the first sentence the young man anxious to impress revised his answers several times so what is the complete subject the complete subject is the young man anxious to impress then what is the subject subject is man so then uh, when you write on your notebook just write uh, uh, after every sentence uh, complete subject then um, subject word then for the next one also complete subject subject word no need of writing the attributes okay and in the next video of today itself we will be doing about the predicate and let us meet there in that video